Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon, because it's past 1230. Welcome to Coffee Break with Laura by Laura Gonzalez. My name is Laura Gonzalez, and I just threw my back out. Walk in my 10-pound dog. And I'm in a lot of pain, <laughs> but I decided to do this video because, I don't know, work, work ethic, being Mexican, I don't know. I mean, I'm in pain. Uh, I went down to reattach his leash, and I think when I got up, I must have pinched a nerve or a muscle or something. And it hurts. Hello, Richard. And hello, Sacred Lore of Witchcraft. Thank you for being here. So, back thrown out and everything. Here we are for Oracles a little later. And we're going to have the Celebration of Love by Eva Shagmar Sullivan. We're going to have the Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. And we're going to have the Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. And also the Divine Animals Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. Oh, Richard, that, um, that link for the book, the PDF is uh, some of the codexes. The codexes that they wrote for... Um, Speaking about the indigenous traditions, oh my god, then my computer is trying to make all kinds of noises. Anyway, yes, uh, circular lore of witchcraft, walking the dog. I bent down to fix the leash, and when I got up, my body was like, no, -oh, you're not moving anymore. But I had to continue walking because I had to come back home. I know it's buzzing. Is it too loud? I hope it's not too loud. Shut up, you. Shut up. There you go. Sorry about that. Maybe I should buy me a new computer. Maybe you should buy a lot of classes from me. And maybe you should come to all my women's circles. And my workshops so I can put money together to buy a new computer or at least a new sound um, the sound chip whatever the I don't know what it's called anyway celebration of love celebration of love Oracle today hello Janet how are you darling from here, I'm going to the couch with a heating pad. And then I'm not moving for the rest of the week. All right. May the Divine Goddess let us see what needs to be seen today and that be used for the greater good. We have perseverance. Perse perseverance. Perseverance. And... It's a car full of dolphins. Cloud dolphins, they call it. Cloud dolphins. Woo! Perseverance. Let's see. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. Perseverance. Anyway. You are being inspired to break through your fear of success. We're going to start with like rocks on the head right away hello sandia roja you are being inspired to break through your fear of success see your success as a beautiful sphere with a harsh shell around it turn it over to the creator may the conscious choice that the impermeable shell be melted off and your dream is free to now flourish in the energy of divine love thank you richard so perseverance you are being inspired to break through your fear of success see your success as a beautiful sphere with a harsh shell around it 
turn it over to the creator, make the conscious choice that the impermeable shell be melted off and your dream is free to now flourish in the energy of divine love. Well, that will be the book eventually. Um, sacred lore of witchcraft. I know you know. I know you know what I'm talking about, honey. Let's see what the next oracle has for us today. We have the Queen of the Moon Oracle. The Queen of the Moon Oracle. Hey, Jay. Oh, my goodness, AJ. It's been ages. I hope you're doing good, honey. I haven't seen you forever. I was thinking of you the other day. I'm like, I wonder what happened to AJ. We haven't seen him on these videos. Janet says arthritis is wanted to show its head. Ugh. Yes, I hope my back feels better too. And um, yeah, it's just one of those silly, silly, silly injuries and add to the silliness, the age. I mean, these aren't free. I earn every single one of them. I'm 50. I'm going to be 51 in July. I'm going to be 51 on July. And you know what? I'm happy. Anyway, I was crying yesterday because I was doing my research for the class on Chalchutlique. And I found this beautiful ceremony of blessing the newborn babies with the water. And it was just so beautiful. And thank God is that I can read Spanish because they're written on old, old, old Spanish. And I remember that in Spanish classes, they told us, you know, they used to use this word for this sound. They used to use this letter for this sound. So I'm able to actually read it and it makes sense to me. And I was like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. Anyway, the class on Chalchutlique is on Sunday. The ticket is $30. And if you're not able to be live to watch the class, you can still sign up and you'll get the, a video within a week. And I've seen a lot of classes that they only let you access the video for a limited amount of time. I don't do that. You purchase my class, you have access to the video. Period. Like I'm not going to rescind the access after two weeks or whatever. Like I don't, I don't know. It's, that's just not me. Queen of the Moon Oracle. Let us see what we need to see today. Blossoming. Blossoming is the card. And this is a flower moon. Flower moon blossoming. It says here, so it reads, do not give up. You have planned for this. Take no notice of what others think or say about you. Open and rise. Someone around you might be jealous of your success. Mark your victories. Okay. Hi, Marisol. Welcome. Blossoming, do not give up. You have planned for this. Take no notice of what others think of blah. I'm, I'm tripping on my own words because my mind wants to accept this. See? Come on, Laura. Take it. It's for you. Do not give up. You have planned for this. Take no notice of what others think or say about you. Open and rise. Someone around you might be jealous of your success. Mark your big trees. Uh, and then the um, the affirmation attached to it. Claim, if you will. I joyfully blossom and I feel no fear. Sacred lore. Repeat after me. Let's do it together, honey. I joyfully blossom. And I feel no fear. Hello, Anea. My goodness, it's been like a million and a half years. It's so good to see you, my darling. Dear friend, Anea. The jealousy. 
I know, I told you. All right, let's do, oh my God, computer, stop buzzing. I'm sorry if you can hear that buzzing too much. I need a new computer. Anyway, you know what's buzzing? What's buzzing is the uh, Tonantzin Mesli ceremony that will happen this Saturday in Pilsen at Papa Locali. <laughs> Sacred Lord of Witchcraft. We are just here blooming. I mean, we are just here blooming. Don't be jelly. <laughs> Bitch. Ah. Oh, Anea, I love you so much. It's so good to see you, my love. So good to see you. Uh, Tonantzin Mesli honoring the moon ceremony. It will happen on Saturday, the 13th of April. And we already have a bunch of people signed up. It's free. We accept donations for the Uber. We accept donations for the candles, but other than that, it's free. And we already have like 10 people signed up. So hopefully y'all want to come and be part of the honoring the moon ceremony. Tonantzin Mesli. This one is going to be special because we're going to be talking about the e eclipse, right? Wow. AJ say during the eclipse, I received a letter from the bank. Most people dream of, wow. And Janet says, is Mercury in the microwave? I know the the noise, the computer. I mean, the computer is always doing this noise, but never during the live videos. And today it decided to, because Mercury is in the microwave, drinking Gatorade and listening to new wave. Mercury on the microwave. Divine Goddess, please let us see the message that we need to see today. Yeah. Everyone lives in their own dream. Everyone lives in their own dream. All people live in their own dream, in their own mind. They are in a completely different world from the one we live in. Everyone lives in their own dream. All people live in their own dream, in their own mind. They are in a completely different world from the one we live in. I think this talks about how we are always so worried about what other people think about us or how we are perceived. And I've told my apprentices a million times, we are constantly concerned about the other person looking at us funny and and I always tell them, like, they're not even looking at you, man. They have a wandering eye. <laughs> they're, they're looking that way, but their wandering eye is, you know, it, it's not about you. And it's taken me a long, 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 long time to really understand that it's not about me. People are constantly and consistently projected on other people. Shut up. That was me getting violated by my computer. <laughs> um, people projecting on other people. And a lot of the times we think it's about us and it's not. Like when people are jealous. Yes, they are jealous, but they are jealous not because we did something that we shouldn't have. They are jealous because they don't take the courage, the courage, the courage to do the things that we do. So when we do the thing, they're mad at themselves because they didn't take the courage to do it. And we did. So you know what? Order your 20 kilos of audacity and do the thing. Janet says, I watched the eclipse with my family in Troy, Ohio. I've been feeling a shift in energy. My husband and I were just talking about how everybody feels drained. 
everybody feels tired. A lot of people are like, oh my God, I'm just dragging my feet. A lot of people be feeling very, very tired after the eclipse. And, you know, whether you did magic or not, that is a very personal choice. Whichever way you live through, work with it or not. Uh, we're still part of the planet. So the energies, whatever energies were there, um, we all felt them. Or we're still feeling them, you know. Do the thing, says Sunea. All right, let's see what is our last card of today. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> we have a rhinoceros with, uh, oh, I can't remember the name. Uh, those Hindu men that do the fire thing. If someone remember the name, tell me. I'm sure it's going to be on the book. 32, the rhinoceros. Or very allergic to magic. <laughs> you know what, AJ? A lot of people will be very, very, very afraid of um, of the energy of the sun and the moon. Akani. The Hindu Vedic god of fire, Akani, writes a rhinoceros with a horn so large it clears the path for all. Ooh. So, rhinoceros is telling us about moderation. Seek moderation in all things. Find the middle path. Not everything is an extreme choice of black versus white. Being passionate about something is positive, but to be obsessed might not be. Leave behind what you no longer need. Seek moderation in all things. Find the middle path. Not everything is an extreme choice of black versus white. Being passionate about something is positive, but to be obsessed may not be. Leave behind what you no longer need. Um... I feel very called to read you all um, the myth behind the image. So, I mean, this is it. I'm not going to pull any more cards, but if you want to hang out, I'm going to read the myth because, I don't know, I'm just feeling called to do it. The Hindu Vedic god of fire, Akani, writes a rhinoceros with a horn so large it clears the path for all. It is said that he is the source of all passion and fire in the world. And that this fire can either burn for good or be out of control. Anaya, I feel that this is coming to you so directly. Because I, I always think about belly dance with you. But for some reason this has your name on it. But that doesn't mean it's not a message for all of us. Akani gives the fires to purify blessings. He gives the fire that a Marian couple walk around to signify the home. And he gives the fire that cooks food for nourishment. He can also give the kind of fire that causes a rise in jealousness <gasps> and rage. Jealousness um, and destroys relationships until they are ash. Dude, this kind of fire can burn the countryside or your own home down. Akani challenges all to be moderate, to find the middle path, and to see balance. Dude. Jealous, jealousiness, jealousiness came out again. 
dude, you were right on the money when you talk about it. You know who you are. You know what I'm saying. Yes, Anea, I don't know why I feel like I'm, I was reading for you directly. Uh, oh, Anea, I wish you knew circular witchcraft, circular witchcraft. I wish you knew, Anea. You guys will be good friends. Anywho, thank you all for watching. I am about to go on my couch, sit on that heating path, and I'm not going to move until Friday, actually Saturday. When I have the moon ceremony, um, I am open to receive good energy for healing my back. So if you feel so inclined to send me good energy to heal my back, I am open to receive that. Thank you so much. And um, see you Saturday at the Tonantzin Mesli ceremony. If you sign up for it, it's in Pilsen at Papalokali. And see you Sunday at the, um, what? Um, see you Sunday at the Chachutlique class. And, uh, and they say love Uno. Yeah, Uno needs healing too. Good energy for your back and my computer. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank you all. Mwah. I'll see you soon. And until we meet again. You are love. And don't let the jealous people put a dent on your happiness. Enjoy your success. Bye-bye.